Hey guys, it's Katie here. I just wanted to share with you about the amazing mission trip that we had. A group from Oklahoma Academy asked if they could come out. It was kind of a last minute thing. They called us up about three days before they were going to come because their mission trip fell through. And so they ended up asking us if we would be willing to host them and God just worked it all out. So we wanted to share with you a little bit of what we did the week that they were here. We had such a packed week. We started out Monday going door to door, inviting people to the different upcoming community services that we were planning with the Oklahoma Academy group. Then that evening, we had one of our church members give a pottery class for the group where they were able to paint their own pots. On Tuesday, we took them wood hauling, where they cut wood and got it all prepped for the church. And then in the evening, we did a kids camp, where the kids came and played games, and they did a Bible story, and the kids just all really had a good time. We had over 21 kids. On Wednesday, we helped one of our church members on her property get ready for winter with painting, picking all of her apples. One of the neighbors needed help with sheetrock. We also helped her to prepare her driveway for winter and it wouldn't be as easy for her to get stuck. Then for lunch, we had Navajo tacos with Navajo fry bread and all the toppings that went with it. Everyone loved it. Since we were already in Ganado, we decided to make a quick trip up to Canyon de Chez, where everyone enjoyed taking in the incredible scenery. On Thursday, part of the group went and split wood for an elderly lady up on the mountain. We have a wood splitter that was donated to our church, and so they were able to split a bunch of wood for her for winter. The other group went to Ganado and set up at the flea market. Of course, puppies. We always have puppies, and one of the puppies went home with this group. On Friday, they did a health expo, inviting people to come and learn about different health practices. People were really inspired and encouraged. On Sabbath, they let out in our church service there at Window Rock. And then in the afternoon, we took them on a hike up in the Mesa. It was so windy. We have never been there when it was that windy. We had to be careful not to get blown off the Mesa. We just want to say a huge thank you to Oklahoma Academy for being an answer to our prayer and helping us with so many things and being a blessing to our community.